Hey there, this is Lucius Laframboise from ENG Suite. I am a software uh, sales and development engineer here, and we are running through our QE Suite function series. We have two left, both in the normality set. So just two more normality tests, and, and you're good to go. You know everything you need to. So this is the Kalmogorov, Kalmogorov Smirnov, whatever... However you say that, I apologize. Um, this is also called the, SK, the KS or the SK test. Um, this is usually a, a uh, one that's a little lower on the, on the tier when it comes to doing normality series. Um, Anderson Darling would usually be above this. Um, just make sure you know where this lands in your organization's priority list um, so that you're using it properly. All right. Nothing new in the parameters. This is really going to be the same thing as Jark Bear, so let's let's try something, should we? So we're going to just copy that. We'll say Kalamagorov, Smirnov, and we're going to paste this in here, but we're going to change it to qe.kalamagorov, Smirnov, and bam! There we go. We get our KS test statistic and our p-value. Just like that. Super easy. So that's how you use the Kalmogorov Smirnov. Um, just like with the rest of these, look forward to later videos where we will go into the math behind them and what these results mean. That way you can sound smarter for your customer. Um, and that way, you know, maybe they won't ask you any questions. <laughs> all right. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but we all know that there's a reason we're engineers and not statisticians, right? All right. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and please do something awesome.